Hey bee people, I'm Ben the Bee Man. And I just want to go over a few things today that I like to use. It makes it easy for me and it's super cheap. So first off, we're going to talk about a solar wax melter. Second, we're going to talk about some smoker fuel. And then third, we're going to talk about a bee vacuum. We're doing like removals and stuff like that. So we're going to go to the solar wax melter. So basically I put this together for probably about 40 bucks, maybe a little bit less. And it's just a tote, a shallow tote with a lid. And I have a piece of Lexan or plexiglass that's kind of thick because the thin one doesn't work as well. And then four cheap clamps. There's plastic for like five bucks from Ace Hardware. And then I have a cheap baking pan that's just aluminum from like the Dollar Tree and a catch basin which is like a piece of a ziploc container so you basically you put your uh, whatever you want to melt in here your wax your unrendered wax and in, inside and it comes apart just like this it's super easy to take apart put your comb or whatever you're going to melt down in there this is after it's melted down there's still a little bit of wax in there, but I'm going to let it sit for another few hours in the sun. And you put your piece of Lexan on top. Put your clamps on. And then you just shut this in here like that. And you can adjust these to make it tilt up more or less. And you put it in the sun. You want to move it around during the day so the sun gets on it. It makes it nice and hot and this is what you start with just some old comb this is what it ends up with it's shaped just like that little catch pan um, and this is from actually from two applications of comb and stuff to get this much wax so super cheap super easy like ace will cut this piece of lexan for your plexiglass um, and all you gotta do is poke holes in the bottom of this pan, like right here, with something like an ice pick or a hive tool. Just poke holes and the wax will drip right out. I've tried putting a filter over those holes and it doesn't really work that well. So that works great for me. Easy cleanup. So next is uh, smoker fuel on the cheap, just laying around the house all day, all day long. So, take cardboard, and just roll it up. Cut it up in strips and roll it up. Roll it up and then you just light it on fire and toss it in your smoker. It's super easy. Okay, I'll show you how easy it lights. Well, I don't have a lighter, so we're not gonna show that part. Um, but you see I've used it right here. And burn for about a 45 minutes and then I'll just try that again. Next is uh, something I use for bee removals. Uh, bee vac on the cheap. And it's totally thrown together and totally stolen. I made some a little bit of offer uh, changes to it. But pretty much it's a bucket head vacuum wet dry power vac from Home Depot. Comes with this little, ho little hose and you know, electric cord and all that stuff and you get a five gallon bucket from Home Depot for like a couple bucks. I think this is 20 bucks, 25. The bucket's like a dollar or two. And then the tools you'll need to make this is a drill. With uh, This is a one and one eight inch hole. You know, drill holes into the side of the bucket. And these are one inch holes. I think if you get too much bigger than one and a half inch, um, it's not enough vacuum. But basically I'm just using a piece of eighth inch hardware cloth or a piece of like window screen and some really good sticky tape. Not duct tape, but something that's a little bit more sticky than duct tape. Two holes, and if I want to increase the vacuum, I'll just put a piece of cheap tape across one hole. Sometimes I'll even take it in my hand and put it over there for a minute. Um, basically, you know, you just need this to cut the window screen out. 
and the drill to make the holes. So I have gotten a strap off of an old duffel bag. And I just take it like this. Well, I'm a little tangled up here, but you get the picture. Just do it like this. And then you want to get yourself a longer hose, too. And a longer hose, you just attach it like that. This way you can climb up a ladder, whatever you want. And the bees are right here on the back. You just suck them up all day. And it's easy. So that's pretty much it. And this works great. So there's a smoker fuel. So there's a solar melter. And I think I got maybe, you know, let's see, $35 in that. And about the same in the B vacuum. But that's it. Just wanted to share my some thoughts I had and some ideas that I've altered a little bit that I got from other people. And uh, hope you have fun keeping the bees. Thanks.